in the telecom, media, and utility markets, performing process analytics for reconciliation purposes can be done using a variety of methods and tools. If done well, these analytics can yield important information about discrepancies in the business that have real financial or customer risk associated with them. In order to understand the root causes of such discrepancies and to perform effective corrective action, an analyst needs a robust adaptive forensics toolset. This model shown describes a telecommunications network to bill reconciliation process wherein services provisioned in the network are compared to billed services to uncover billing errors. This is but one example of a class of data analytics in which multiple systems are compared to uncover exceptions to expected business practices. This particular model is a simplified example taken from a real-world implementation and has aspects from all the stages in our analytical methodology. At a high level, these are data acquisition, where data are acquired from multiple extracts and databases, data analytics, where data integrity checks and enrichment activities are performed, rules analytics, where business rules are applied to identify exceptions within the data, business analytics, where the uncovered exceptions are categorized and assigned financial value, and publishing, where results are output to any desired systems, such as reporting tools or file extracts. For our first step, we acquire data from the primary sources. The billing system provides the list of subscribers who are currently being billed for services. The switch data identifies those customers who are currently provisioned for these services. The reconciliation will uncover discrepancies between these data sources, specifically customers who are either not being billed for services or who are being billed incorrectly. Other system data will be subsequently used to provide more context for these discrepancies which will facilitate their correction. In this case, as we build out our analytic model, we brought in order management data to determine when the service was requested and usage data to determine how much the service is being used. These data were not necessary to determine if a customer record was in error but are useful in determining why. While it is interesting to find that a telephone number is in the switch but not in billing, it is more interesting to find out that this service was ordered over a year ago, and even more interesting to find that this line is using over $100 a month in unbilled long-distance services. After acquiring the source data, the next step in our methodology is to perform some data analytics to ensure the integrity of the source data and to validate any assumptions we have about it. Here. We are examining the switch segmentation so a subject matter expert, or SME, can quickly verify the data looks as he or she expected. We are also validating that there is a lack of duplication on certain criteria. In this case, a combination of two fields occurring in the data which we can easily select from a list of available fields. This practice can identify and validate existing assumptions in the data and later serve to document and codify those assumptions that were previously only tacit knowledge. Executing the node, we can instantly see the results are as expected, allowing us to continue to develop the model, now confident in knowledge that was previously only an assumption. Through our data transformation capabilities, we can correlate disparate data easily overcoming data issues such as the use of different identifiers for the same customer to create a unified analytical view of each customer. In this case, we enrich the switch data with the order management data to determine when the service was requested and which agent entered the order. Working with actual data from all relevant systems helps the SME quickly identify root causes. In this example, a discrepancy population which was clustered around a certain order date would suggest an altogether different root cause from a concentration of errors and orders processed by an individual CSR. Next, we perform the correlation between the billing and switch data using our XREF node. This node provides the ability to join two data sources together and, in a single step, highlight three different result sets. Those lines that were only in billing, those lines that were both in billing and in the switch, and those customers that are only in the switch and therefore not being billed for their service. This one node, since it shows all three outputs, lets us easily inspect the results and create a separate analytical path as needed for each result set.
Validating the accuracy of each business rule and examining the data at each step as you develop your model is key to our interactive and iterative adaptive modeling process. By examining these fully contextualized discrepancies at the atomic level, we can perform root cause analysis to determine where the business process can be improved to prevent future occurrences. We can sort the data, do some statistical inspection such as a frequency distribution, and highlight interesting values in the data. Because we are looking at the data at each step and validating results, we can see that lines of a certain service type, which indicate internal lines, were erroneously included in the data and should be excluded from the correlation. By highlighting those records here and clicking a button, we can place this automatically configured filter node back onto the canvas to perform that exclusion. This node can now be executed in the model on the full data set. Once run, we can easily inspect those results just as we did in previous nodes. Once validated, you can then incorporate the node into the model and rerun the analytic on the now corrected data set. Without this inline ability to trace and validate the incremental steps of rule application, a user cannot test the edge cases of known rules and will not uncover imperfections in the known rule set. But because this visual process lowers the cost of validating each rule and of experimenting with alternatives, users are encouraged to test their hypotheses, avoiding false positive results and accelerating time to market. A challenge many analysts face is too much data as this type of reconciliation can often contain hundreds of millions of records of dense data composed of hundreds of columns. An efficient analysis first employs aggregate level tests to identify the subsets of data which require deep inspection and optimally does so using visual cues which are easily comprehended by technical and non-technical users alike. Our inflow reporting provides analysts with the ability to rapidly visualize the variability in complex data even in substantial data sets, so that outliers can be easily isolated for further investigation. We can enrich the analysis with other data to add value or further understanding of risk and cause. By adding in usage data here and looking at the service type, we are again making use of the platform's ability to provide a fully contextualized view of discrepancies. It enables us to calculate the associated service costs, and identify revenue opportunities where a customer is using a service and not being billed, or cost reductions where an incorrectly provisioned resource is unavailable but is not generating revenue. Once we have calculated this financial impact, we can use our inflow reporting to visualize the breakout of costs based on the service type being provided. This can aid in root cause analysis or show us where to focus our efforts to maximize financial impact. The results from the model can be inspected inside the analytic engine as we have shown. Additionally, they can easily be published to a variety of destinations such as Excel, HTML or XML files, or into a database for other purposes such as a corporate dashboard. Central to our adaptive modeling approach and to the value of our technology is ability to rapidly investigate and analyze the full end-to-end -end network to build process unhindered by data source, type or volume, or by the source or complexity of business rules. These capabilities enable business analysts to rapidly discover risk, uncover hidden patterns, and build controls to reduce risk, in this case avoidable leakage revenue, on a persistent basis.